Hello guys, this is Ratu498, and this is a 1v1 battle. Um, I'm playing a 10 star opponent. So, just started off and just moving my units forward. Okay, so my build is I've got uh, three Dochi Samurai, something like that they're called. I've got uh, a few Katana, uh, a few um, uh, the Spear Samurais the uh, Yari guys and I've got a few Yari um, cavalry guys as well, about five of them or so. Uh, I've got one bow unit and I've got uh, two matchlocks. So I'm sending my cav out, my opponent's got his cav, um, he's brought them all out wide on the flank away from his main body so I'm sending one of my um, spear guys and uh, three of my Yari cav over. And the Nagati um, Samurai guys, the spear guys. So I'm going to uh, two of my um, Daiichi Samurai guys were there as well, so they're coming back. So my plan is basically to try and get rid of these calf units. I'm going to try and engage him in the centre, and hopefully he won't notice me attack his calf on the, on the flank, which is kind of my plan. So I've played a few 10 star guys now, I'm getting a little bit better at it, so. Um, I, technically if you look at the armies and things you don't really stand too much of a chance if you look at the um, army qualities of the 10 star guy as opposed to mine he's got some bombard um, firebomb guys, so I've not seen them before they were new to me so they were a shock when they completely destroyed a load of my guys so I'm going to bring another couple of cav units out uh, behind my force, there's no point out flanking these, my opponent's got a few spears uh, quite a few of them, so I don't really want my cav to go in before my main body attacks. So I've got a couple of do uh, Daiichi Samurai there that are going to... I'm going to kind of try and hold them up until I really, really need to use them. So as you can see, I'm moving on the centre. I've just ordered my cav and everyone to attack the um, cavalry on the flanks. Uh, my cav are going to go in to get rid of that artillery unit. I think, I believe it's a class of artillery unit. I don't know. I haven't had it yet. But... Um, so I'm getting rid of that as quickly as possible. So now I'm just going to start a frontal attack on his uh, matchlocks at the front. And as you can see over here, he hasn't noticed my cav attacking him yet. His cav are much better quality than mine. Um, so my uh, spear guys over there very important for me to win in that, otherwise I would have got destroyed. I'm um, losing units, these matchlocks are quite devastating to be honest if they get a really decent shot off at you. Their morale shock is unbelievable. So but over here it's really important I get rid of these cav units, they're gonna be vital at the end so that I use them. So I'm gonna to have to get rid of these guys as quickly as possible. Keep um, I believe he's got a great guard there as well. I haven't tried that unit out yet but I believe it's very good. So I'm gonna just send in the rest of my uh, reserve forces now. And one thing I've really failed on, my general is like miles away. Normally I select him with the group, but I'm moving up, obviously I missed him this time, and he is absolutely miles away. So as you can see over here, I'm rattling away his cab. That was excellent for me, really. I was so happy they were going away. They were going to cause me so many problems. So I was getting rid of those units. He's got a couple of uh, Roman spear units down here that are coming for my uh, matchlocks and my bows. So I'm going to try and get rid of them, pull them away quickly as I can and I'm going to send a um, <coughs> unit of, I believe they were Katana and against him Our men are running from the battlefield a shameful display so as you can see the battle's kind of looking really bad for me here I'm um, pretty much getting chain routed off the map but mainly because I didn't bring my general up and also because of the fact that he's got morale shopping units there that are just destroying me. So, but I've one on this side. My cab's coming across now, so they're going to help out. My general's now got in. And I'm kind of hoping that I can pull this off. My opponent hasn't got that many men left. And it's going to be kind of vital that I get rid of all these um, musket guys and stuff like that and try and keep my cav as safe as possible. 
Uh, I keep pulling the muskets, I've got to stop that. It's match locks, isn't it? Too much Napoleon and Empire. So he's bringing in um, uh, one of his spear units to counter my cav. So I'm going to get my cav out. My generals have managed to rout away one of his match lock units. So it's now going to move on. As you see, my general's doing a good job. And now I've got some units coming back from routing. Very, very happy about that. I was, you know, it, it, now now it looks kind of closer. It looks like it could go either way, so... I was getting a little bit happier. Look, you see down here, I've got cav units that are just coming back from routing. So they're going to... I'm going to pull them away because he's got um, a few spear guys there. So I need to get rid of this unit. And then these units can come and join in the main battle as well. So these cap units are going to come across and I'm going to try and build up to one army again to push on him one more time. So looking at this now, I'm, I'm feeling a lot more confident about it. I've still got some spear guys floating around. The majority of my army left is actually cav. But I've got some bows and some um, matchlocks left so I'll be able to do some damage with them. And basically now I'm just going to try and get everything I can shooting on these guys because I've got a um, uh, Nagati Samurai or something like that. They're called the Spear Guys in there fighting and I really, really, really need to, them to win. Because I've got to get rid of this guy's spears and just leave him with swords just so I can get my cab in and do some damage and finish him off. So as you can see here, it's basically been completely turned around from me being routed away into now actually being in control of this battle with many more units than my opponent. So I'm going to move my bow and my uh, matchlocks up just so I can get a decent shot off of these guys first. And now I can send the rest of my forces needed to deal with these guys, but I believe after 140 they should probably get morale shocked enough to just kind of like go away. But we'll have to see yeah there we go, look the morale's breaking so this was a good game to my opponent um, I've got a few more videos of me beating 10 star guys so I'll pop them up as well um, I'd like to thank my opponent for playing he very kindly um, gave me the choice when we entered the game to play me or not as he was a 10 star guy but I thought what the hell um, he added me to his friends list as well, I believe. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment and subscribe. That's the uh, stats at the end of the game. And uh, please do hit that subscribe button if you're watching one of my videos for the first time. And check out my uh, other Shogun 2 Total War videos and also my Napoleon Total War videos. And check out the other commentators in my um, friends channels list at the bottom. So thank you very much guys and bye bye.